I'm ready. I'm ready for spookiness. <laughs> Hello my spooky family, so welcome back to another decor hunting video. It is part three? Part three, the third Halloween decor hunting of 2022. Now, this day is gonna be a game with the gum. So in this video, we are going to go to Home Goods, maybe TJ Maxx, but Home Goods for sure because I'm seeing all over Facebook, all over like all the Halloween groups and everything that a lot of people's home goods have a lot of Halloween out. Like they have so much. And I'm like, okay. The last time I went to home goods was like maybe a week and a half ago. So maybe in that week and a half, miraculously, they got some Halloween. Like at least some like dish towels or something or or some blankets. Oh my God. I really want like a soft, soft, big Halloween blanket. So we are going to go to Home Goods and check it out. And then I also want to finally, not finally, but try at home and see if they finally have Halloween out. Because the last time that we went to at home, they had nothing. Everything was fully stocked for summer and 4th of July. So hopefully, and that, and that was about like two weeks ago. So hopefully at home got it together and they got some Halloween out. But we are going to go to at home on Tuesday. So I, I don't think I have time for at home. It's, good. it's because at home is like 30 minutes away from me. So I don't think I have time for at home today. But on Tuesday, we will go to at home. But today we are going to Home Goods. And hopefully we see some Halloween. Of course, we got... Starbus, Starbus. Oh, my skull bracelet. My white skull bracelet, it broke. It broke. It's okay, it's okay. I still have my, I still have my jack-o'-lantern one from Etsy. It, it, it's okay. We'll, we'll live, we'll live. But yeah, okay, cool. I'll see you guys at Home Goods. We have success at Halloween goods. No, home goods, not Halloween goods. Oh my God, I feel like a store should be called Halloween goods where they sell Halloween stuff all year round. Good idea. But nonetheless, we found Halloween at home goods. We didn't find as much as like the, these um other people on Facebook have found at their home goods is because their home goods look like fully stocked of Halloween. There's like so much. But here, the, there was just, you know, a tiny bit, but we'll take it. Like any type of Halloween, we will take it. They had, um, they also had some fall floral out. So I'll just show that. Um, some fall floral. I know that we're looking for Halloween, not fall floral, but some people are. And it honestly gives, you know, the um, excitement that, you know, fall is coming, which means Halloween is coming. So they had some fall floral. It was cute, whatever. And then like turn the corner and they have some Halloween. They have costumes. I didn't think that Home Goods sold costumes, but they have costumes. It was like a dinosaur, I think. And then they had this like crystal ball with like, um, the like base is like um, skulls and like the like hands like grabbing it. It was really cute. It and it lights up. It was really cute. I thought about buying it, but I was like, mm, mm, I don't know. It wasn't. It was like twenty five dollars. I mm, I might go back and buy it. I might, but it was really cute. And then on this other thing, they had the like not um stuffed animals, but the you know plush. Are they called plush? They're called plush, right? It was. I think I think like gnomes, I think that's what they were. But it was something with with like pointy hats and Halloween. But then um, they have Halloween on their cart. So the um, cart where they you know have their product and put it out on the floor. So so um, they have some on the cart that's not put out yet. And they have blankets, little little knickknacks. I think. Um, 
tablecloth, cloths, and then um, little plate placements, I think. And what else did they have? They had something else on there. Oh, blankets, blankets, blankets. Oh my God, these blankets were so cute. Oh my God. Like, oh my God. So, and then um, on this other side, they had some cookware. So some um, array done little um, pan and then I think some cookie cutters and they have these table runners so those were cute as well but yeah we found Halloween at home goods and from the looks of it I feel like within I'll give them two weeks to be fully blown Halloween I'll give them two weeks it's because it's coming it's coming um I did go into TJ Maxx just to um because I needed to like buy something else and they didn't have halloween like at all but all their fourth of july stuff is like clearance clearance so i but it's all still like fully stocked so i feel like hopefully all like the clearance stuff goes away and then they can start putting out halloween as well but no success at tj maxx but success at home goods and i did buy one thing of course i have to buy something so i can't wait to show you guys what i but it's super cute. I'm so happy I found it. I'm so happy I bought it. And I was not going to leave without it. I refused. So, yeah. So, I know that in the last decor hunting video, we went to Tuesday morning. But since Tuesday morning is in the same strip, I mean, we went to Home Goods last video too, but you know, they didn't have anything. And th and that was filmed like a week ago, I think, about a week ago. And since Tuesday morning is in the same strip, I'm gonna go into Tuesday morning and see if they got any more stuff, any new stuff. Is because I saw that on some people at at some people's Tuesday mornings, they had blankets, they had um, a lot of other like you know statues and stuff that mine didn't have last week. So maybe they got like more stuff in, and I'm gonna go check it out since it's it's in the um, same strip. So why not? And okay. More success at Tuesday morning. We found more Halloween as I expected. Um, so they they still had like a lot of what we saw last time, but now they have they have some new Halloween out, but they have like more like fall stuff. So here's like the fall stuff. Like they have this like you know whole table now, and then more stuff um hanging. I think like wreaths and stuff. But for the Halloween, they have like, I think two more walls or maybe or maybe one more, but I think it's two more walls of Halloween. And I think I'm just gonna show um, the like new stuff that we saw that we didn't see last time because I just don't wanna like be repetitive. So they of course had the blankets um, I didn't really like any of the blankets. I thought that they were kind of cheesy or maybe like, oh my God, it's raining. And like raining gloomy weather is like my favorite weather. So it's like, it's like a perfect day. And so they had the blankets. Um, they had more cookware. They had like mo more cups. They had these like tin cups. I think the material was like tin or like aluminum. They had those, they had this like soap set. It was so um they had more like they had this like garland they had this figurine they had this um stack of books with a skull and a crow or a raven on it um they had this like lantern this lantern was beautiful but it was $30 it was $30 uh -huh. it's not that beautiful I'm sorry $30 is a little much what else did they have that was new they had something else oh mugs they had their mugs they had their mugs. They had like three mugs. So I think that's pretty much all like the new stuff that they have. We'll take it. We'll take anything. Um, I did buy some things. I, I bought two things, two items, which I cannot wait to show you. It They were so cute and I could not leave without them. So yeah, 
pretty successful day for Halloween. Home Goods finally had Halloween out and we did purchase something. Tuesday morning had more Halloween out and we did purchase something, of course. And um and it's raining. Yay. And and we have coffee. It's it's just it's a perfect day. So yeah, um, I think because it's raining and at home is like 30 minutes away, I think we're gonna call it a day for decor hunting. And we, we will pick back up on Tuesday. So in two days, and we, we will be going to at home. And then I'm gonna try Michael's as well to see if they have like, at least like their, I know last year they had their like wreath stuff where you can like make your own wreath. At least if they have that. So we will try at home on Tuesday. Now, Tuesday, now at home, I'm giving them two extra days. I gave them two and a half weeks. I'm giving them two extra days to get it together. Somebody just pulled next to me, so I'm gonna wait until they leave. Okay, but yeah, I, at home, I'm giving you two extra days. Every Everybody's at home has Halloween. Everybody's at home has like a lot of Halloween, but mine. Mine is fully stocked with summer and 4th of July. 4th of July is over, okay? Summer, it, summer's not over until like September 20 something, so, but still, okay? So, at home, I'm gonna need you to act right and get it together. I'm giving you two extra days. If, if I go and there's no Halloween, I'm not gonna go at all for this year. I mean, I'm, I'm so, gonna go because like i want to see like what what halloween they're gonna have but but still okay so i will see you guys on tuesday in two days but for you guys it will be the next clip so i'll see you guys in the next clip okay so i decided since we're out and about already why not go to michael's today and see if they have any halloween and i was also like we should go into marshall's as well is because it's right next to michael's so why not so we went into michael's and i guess you could say they have halloween because they had these halloween um garden flags so like you like stick in the grass and it's the um you know flag but that's it um they did have their full like fall like um fall floral um section but no halloween except for the um flags um and that's pretty much it at michael's um they were setting up their back their like back to school section like they were setting up back to school like right now so i feel like we we won't see halloween at michael's or at least at my michael's for a minute maybe not until like the beginning of august but yeah so we went into Marshall's as well, and Marshall's had nothing. Um, they still had their 4th of July, which I feel like is the same as TJ Maxx, is because I feel like TJ Maxx and Marshall's are, are like the same, so. But Marshall's like kind of makes me uncomfortable. Like the atmosphere in Marshall's kind of makes me uncomfortable, so I don't feel like I'm gonna go in there again, like ever again. So if you wanna see Halloween at Marshall's um, and people buy stuff from Marshall's, go check out other, um halloween content creators because you will not see marshall's on this channel i do not know why but that story like makes me uncomfortable so i'm not gonna go in it again but yeah so i feel like michael's since they're setting their back to school up now will not have halloween like full halloween until like august which is fine we have other stores who are doing it big but yeah you know where we should go okay so i wasn't gonna do this I wasn't gonna do this, but I feel like I want to now because it's like right down the street. We are going to go to All Time Pottery. The last time we went to All Time Pottery was two and a half weeks ago, same day as we went to At Home. Um, and they had some some Halloween now, so I feel like in the two and a half weeks, I feel like they got a lot more stuff. Hopefully, if not, then what are y'all doing? But so yeah. How about we just continue this beautiful day? As you can see, sun is shining. Why not? Why not? Let's go to All Time Pottery. Oh my God, more success at Old Time Pottery. I'm so glad that I decided to go today. They had way more stuff 
than they did last time that we went, which was about two weeks ago. So they had, um, well, first they um they um have their like fall stuff out now. Um, it's not much, which I don't honestly don't care about their fall like floral and stuff but if you care about fall floral they have some stuff um but going down to halloween they have these big pumpkins with letters on them um that's like full and they have a lot more tabletop decor they had these like big ornaments which i feel like they had um um last year too it's like you know an eyeball a pumpkin um but as for the tabletop decor they um what's it called they had this beautiful skull oh my god with like roses they had what do they have i just saw it but i'm i'm, I'm just like you know so excited that i can't think right now they had gnomes um i don't know i don't know what is the obsession with gnomes in halloween like are gnomes supposed to be scary i don't know they had this car they had um this cute little pumpkin um yeah so just a bunch of little knickknacks and they had more pillows they had um a big hanging skeleton um it's not like you know a huge one it's like a medium-sized one for like 15 bucks which honestly is is not bad i feel like i'm gonna go buy him but yeah um as i was filming one of the workers came up and at first i thought that he was gonna tell me like hey no filming like you can't film but he said he gave me some insight. He said what they have now, and they do have like, you know, kind of um, a lot. What they have now is not even a third of what they're going to get. They're gonna, like, he said that they're going to get like a lot, like a large amount of Halloween to the point of where they have, like, there's this area of where they have um, planters and stuff. They're gonna have to clear that out to fit the Halloween. And they're gonna have to build like three more shelves. Like they're gonna have lots of Halloween like coming up in, in the next couple of weeks. Like, you know, he said, so you're gonna have to check back in like every week. I said, I will. I cannot wait. Like that just made me like, ah, okay. Um, Hopefully one of them, like I mentioned in, I think it's my, um my first halloween decor hunting video i mentioned i really hope that they have their jack-o-lantern on a pedestal i really hope they have that again i will grab like 20 of them no i'm not but i really hope that they have it I'm, and i i want to grab one but um i did buy something i did buy something i had to i had to i had to we, you you cannot see halloween and not buy something so I cannot wait to show you guys what I bought. I'm so glad that we went to Old Town Pottery today. I'm so glad that I decided to go because, oh my God. <sighs> Yay. Okay, so I think that's enough for today. Um, We will be going to At Home on Tuesday. So At Home. Don't play with me. Okay, Um, I will be filming what I got today tonight because i'm like i really want to show you and i'm really excited so yeah okay so we are back home now and i'm going to show you guys what i got today at at home um, no not at home at at home will be on tuesday later in the video at um home goods um old time pottery and again from tuesday morning we got we found some more treasures um, I was going to wait until, like, the very end, um, after we went to At Home as well, just in case we did buy something, but I'm just too excited, and I really want to show you guys what I found. So, let's start with Home Goods. So, they don't have much out, but they do have some, and, um, there was one of their carts where, you know, they had some stuff on, which they were still putting stuff out, but I was like, I really want this, so I'm just gonna take it off the cart, and... Because I know that if I wait until they put it out and then come back, it's going to be gone. I just know. I, I just know that. You know, that's my luck. Like, you know, I see something. I'm like, I'll wait. And then I come back and it's never there again. So, here's what I go out. Look. Look. Look at this. Look at this. This oversized blanket. It is so soft. I mean, you can't feel through, through the screen. But look. Oh, my goodness it's by cynthia prowley cynthia rowley oh my goodness like it has jack-o-lanterns and ghosts 
jack lanterns with the you know the um witch has it has like the moon and like the um spider webs and everything it is so soft and some of the jack lanterns give like you know a vintage feel and i i love vintage halloween i love vintage um jack-o-lanterns and pumpkins like i just love vi like that vintage look you know bl um black hats and everything but oh my god this is beautiful i had to I, I i had to i had to and i'm going to use it tonight i promise you like gorgeous and it was only 17 bucks like that is a steal to 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 be honest it's like huge and it's it's beautiful i love it oh my goodness um, so we went to Tuesday morning again, and where's the stuff? Okay, and they had some new stuff out from last time, um, and these two things I just had to grab is because it was the only one left, and then some. Um, my first ever Halloween mug, it has the orange inside, it says Creeping It Real, beautiful. I feel like it's in the shape of a cauldron, but not really. But yeah, creeping it real. My, my first ever Halloween mug. It was it was super cute. I had to get it. I love the like phrase "creep it real," Cre um, creeping it real, because it's just a cute little phrase. But yeah, and it was only like um four dollars. Perfect. Oh my god. And then another thing, of course, you guys know I love my skulls. Look what I found look what they had they had hand soap and um lotion like and on this cute little like um black tray and look at the skull oh like beautiful and it was only seven dollars like beautiful i, sh I actually want to take it out right now ah okay here's it's absinthe and sugar but look at the like um skull on the Look, I'm trying to get the glare off. Like, that is beautiful. Like, I'm going to keep these bottles because that is a beautiful design. I actually, like, want to, like, smell it right now. Hold on. Wow. That smells like fall. Absinthe and sugar. That smell is beautiful. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I cannot wait to use this. <laughs> and then we have the soap. Oh, the soap is like in there, in there. Oh, oh. Here's a cute little tray. You can honestly use it for like anything. I'm gonna put the soap and um and lotion on it because why not? Look at the skull with this hot hat, which matches like my picture that I found at Walmart, I think like two years ago. This is the same thing, absinthe and sugar. Yep, it's the same scent. Yep, it's the same scent. It, I, I honestly smells delicious and i cannot wait to use it and then we went to all time pottery which i'm really glad that i went again is because they have um a lot more stuff and they had this little pumpkin that i saw on one of the facebook groups someone had posted some and i like you know it stood out to me like you know, i really wanted it so when i want something i get it look at it look at it it says happy halloween with the you know the um spooky tree with the fence it has like tombstones and, and this little white pumpkin some bats um a moon like like and i love how it almost looks dirty but like in that you know cool like you know spooky like not rustic i feel like rustic yeah like so cute and it was only six bucks I and mean, it's like it's not plastic. I do not think it's plastic. You know, I feel like if it does like drop, I feel like it it'll like break, break. But oh my god, beautiful! Yay! And of course, the pillow that we got from Joanne's fat. Well, the fabric from Joanne's fabrics, and then like the stuffing from Walmart, and then made a pillow. That's all that we got today, which is honestly more than um, I expected. My obviously favorite is this blanket. I cannot wait to use it. This video is not over because we will be going to at home on Tuesday and hopefully they have some Halloween, like something, something, just something, some pumpkins, some doormats, something. So I will see y'all at at home. Okay, so it is 
two days later or the next clip for you guys and we are at at home and they better have halloween they better have some halloween because everybody's at home has halloween everybody's but mine the last time that i went to at home was about two and a half weeks ago so i better see some halloween i better see a pumpkin I better see a pumpkin. I wore my Hocus Pocus All Hallows Eve shirt that I got from uh, Five Below last year and my new Halloween socks from Tuesday morning. So yeah, they better have Halloween because I gave y'all two weeks. I gave y'all two extra days. I could have went two days ago when I first started this video. I could have went two days ago when I went to, you know, Home Goods and all that. I could have went to, I gave y'all two extra days don't disappoint me so let's go in okay so we just came out of at home and they have halloween finally but like barely so i feel like they're i feel like they literally just put like stuff out today because it is very bare there's like little to nothing and they still have like um the rack out so right when you walk in you like see something um i think this is like the garden halloween the you know spooky garden i feel um and then you like go to the next aisle and this is where they're gonna have their like full halloween like oh my like you know it's all empty and ready um, and as you can see, like, there's a cart there full of stuff as well. So, like, you know, they're doing it, like, right now. Um, and the lady was actually, like, putting stuff out, like, as I'm, like, shopping around. And I had to, like, you know, go, you know, shop around the store. Um, shop around the store, you know, as she's putting stuff out so that I'm not in her way. And that, you know, I can see more stuff. Um, they didn't really have anything that, like, piqued my interest. Um, and from the pictures and videos that I've seen of other people's at homes and, like, the kind of stuff that at home has for this year, I'm not really feeling anything from at home. Like, um, but at least they have stuff. At least they have Halloween. So, I can't complain. At least they have Halloween. That's what we wanted and that's what we got. Um, they didn't have their doormats, which was surprising is because mostly like everyone's at home. They said that they all put their doormats, their um, Halloween doormats out first. Mine did, didn't have any doormats. I did buy one thing. I feel like it'll be like the only thing that I buy from at home. Because once again, at home for me is like 30 minutes and I do not feel feel like driving that that long um just to buy like one or two things if there is something i'll just order it online to be honest um but i did buy one thing i was gonna wait um until i got home but i'll just show you right now they have these little jars i want to say jars they had these little um skull jars with the um cork that comes off um, they had a black one, they had, um, a clear one, a green one, um, and then, like, you know, all different types of colors, but the black one stood out to me, like, and it's very sturdy, and it, and it was only $2.99, $2.99, that's a amazing price for how, like, sturdy it is, like, you know, it's, like, glass, <laughs> like, you know, I thought it would be, like, you know, $8.00 like most of the other stuff but yeah i thought it was cute very cute i don't think that i'm gonna put anything in it maybe we'll see P probably not um but yeah it's cute so that was at home i'll probably come here once one mo more time just one more time this year probably in like september maybe october like what like when they have their full-blown halloween actually not october is because i remember last year i came here in october like the first week of october at, actually and they were sold out of halloween and it was all christmas the first week of october 
Are you crazy? Like what? So I think I'll come here just one more time, just one last time um, in like September, maybe August when they have like full blown Halloween and see if there's something. But other than, than that, I don't see myself like fully shopping at, at home for Halloween. So I actually do not want to end the video with at home. I low key want to try Dollar Tree because I saw that some people's Dollar Trees have some Halloween out and I want to see if mine has it. And also, I'm feeling like I want to make another pillow. So we might stop by Joann's to get a new fabric and make another pillow. We might, we're going to, we're going right now. So see you guys at either Dollar Tree or Joann's, whichever one pops up first, okay? So we are back home. It is several hours later. Per usual, that's that's just what we do. We wait several hours, several hours to film the outro. That's just fine, you know? The day gets a little crazy. I get a little tired and all that. So I was going to film me talking about Dollar Tree because I said that we were going to Dollar Tree and talk about Joann's um, because I also said that we were going back to Joann's. I was going to film it like right after I, I went inside and film it in the car, but I had I had somewhere to be, and I was I was just like, you know what? I'll just wait until um, I get home and film the outro, and we'll just talk about it here. We had went to at home, correct? And I was not aware that behind at home there is like a whole plaza of um, stores. Um, because you know, I don't live in that area, so I was not aware. And in that plaza, guess what? So one, there's a Dollar Tree, and, and, and I said that we're going to um, a Dollar Tree, and, and the closest one was over by you know my house, which was 25 minutes away. Um, there's a Dollar Tree, and guess what else? They have a Home Goods, they have a TJ Maxx, they have a Ross, they have a Party City, they have everything. And some store called Hobby Town, like I'm not sure if that's the same as um, Hobby Lobby, but they have everything over there, like, well not like everything, but oh my God, so, so I was like, okay, let me make a U-turn and we gonna check out all these stores. Like, so, so we went into every single store, not just Dollar Tree. So first let's talk about Dollar Tree. There's nothing. Um, there was nothing. It was back to school. It was just back to school. It did have like some like fall cups and everything. I didn't record it because there was no point. So, so yeah, the Dollar Tree, at least that one, is back to school. Um, but, but we did go into Home Goods. Now, in this video, we did go to Home Goods, which was two days ago. But in this video, it was a, a couple clips ago. And my home goods started to put stuff out. And you know, they had some stuff. But this home goods, this home goods, I feel like it's their full blown Halloween. Like it is a lot. Like they have Halloween just, and like Halloween galore. Like, oh my God. It's like all over the um, place. Like, you know, there's not just one specific section. Like it's in one section. It, it's across the store, it's by the checkout, it's like mixed, like, I, there's like so much that they're like, they like can't have it in like one spot. And oh my goodness. One thing that I do want to point out is they are 
going all out with these pillows. Like, HomeGoods is it, just doing Halloween pillows for, for 2022, I guess. Like, it's just pillows and pillows and pillows and pillows. Like, oh my goodness. But yeah, so HomeGoods is, HomeGoods is getting it done for this year, okay? They had like everything. Even though it was like big, like tall witches, which kind of creeped me out, but oh my goodness. I did go in into TJ Maxx, nothing still. I didn't go into Ross, I just didn't have time. We did go to Joann's again, because I really want to make another pillow for pillows. We did go to Joann's. They still don't have any of their um, Halloween out. They do have, I think it's the wreath stuff, which I will show. Um, I think it's like the wreath stuff to like make a wreath. Um, they did have that, but nothing else. Um, their fabric, they had Christmas fabric though. So I, I really don't want to hear nothing about Halloween in July when y'all putting out Christmas fabric. Christmas fabric? I, don't get me wrong, I love Christmas. I love Christmas decorations. Like, don't get me wrong, but November, <laughs> nah. Not July, <laughs> like, wow. It did have all the same fabrics that we saw last time. Um, I did get a new fabric, let me show it to you. I got this fabric. I really love these jack-o'-lanterns. Let me try to, oh no, it's upside down. Okay, cool. Like, I really love these jack-o'-lanterns. Um, they kind of give me like a vintage look, like, you know, you know, old school jack-o'-lanterns and I just love it. You know, I love the like white background. Um, and this like material is like softer than the other fabric that I'm, that, that like purple Halloween fabric that I made, that um, my mom made the pillow out of. This is like kind of softer, so, but yeah. I thought it was really cute. It, I, ugh, it was so hard to pick. Like it really was so hard to pick. I was like, you know what? Just, just pick one. Boom. I'm thinking I'm, I'm making two small pillows of this one instead of one big one. But we'll see. And then of course we got we got the we got the black skull little jar thingy from at home. I'm glad that we got like our little sneak peeks. I'm glad that. You know, Halloween is coming. So thank you guys for watching my three parts Halloween decor hunting. We found some great treasures of Halloween. I feel like Home Goods is bringing it this year. They they are not playing around. Home Goods is fully stocked. <laughs> Home Goods is fully like fully Halloween. Like Home Goods is like, okay, y'all want Halloween? Here you go. Like Home Goods is bringing it. So TJ Maxx, get it together. At home, get it together. Um, what other stores? Target, come on. Party City, come on. Tuesday morning though, I feel like Tuesday morning is, you know, trailing behind Home Goods. I feel like two I feel like Tuesday morning was like the first one in line. Like, hey, look, here's a lot of Halloween. And then Home Goods just said, ooh, so you thought. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And of course, Creep it real. I feel like that's gonna be like my slogan because I love creep it real. Thank you for watching all all Halloween, all Hallows Eve, all Hallows Eli, and stay spooky. <laughs>